Today's project is called Wreck the Rainbow, and this is going to be a painting project and a paper collage project all put together. Uh, so we are going to start off by talking about the color wheel. We're going to talk about Roy G. Biv, which is the order of the spectrum and how you can remember what order the rainbow or the spectrum is in. Then we're going to paint a rainbow. We're going to cut it all up and we're going to put it back together uh, following the rules of composition. So if you are ready, we'll get started. This is an artist color wheel. It's a really great tool to have if you're trying to create new colors. And look at these interesting color wheels made by things that you find around your house. Um, one of them is made by flowers. Do you think you could put one of those together? Roy G. Biv is a way to remember the order of the spectrum, the order of the colors. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And when you put all of those together, you have Roy G. Biv. So we are going, and you can actually, you can draw more than one rainbow, but we're going to start with a black crayon, and we're going to just draw a rainbow and make sure you leave space for every color. So there's red, here's orange, and next is yellow. How many of you have drawn a rainbow before? I bet a lot of you have drawn rainbows before. And it's okay if it's bent a little bit or if it's just not quite straight, that's all right. Blue, now we need an indigo and a violet. All right, and then finish off your edges. Let your edges connect because we are going to need to cut this out eventually. All right, so there's the end of our rainbow. And now we're gonna take a paintbrush. We have some paints over here. We're gonna start with what is red. It's red is the first one. We're gonna start with red. Just add some paint and something that that crayon will do is it will keep the colors from blending into one another, but it's okay if they blend in a little bit. Rinse off your brush. And then the next is O. So that's gonna be orange, red, orange. Okay. And for this project, you can make two, you can make three, or you can just make one rainbow. Doesn't really matter, as long as you have one. Now, what's next? What is the Y? The Y is yellow. We're gonna work with yellow next. And G is green. So we are going to come back with some green. And if you have some little white spaces, that's okay. Rinse off the brush. And then you have blue. You'll probably have several blues in your paint tray, or you may just have one, but it doesn't really matter which blue you choose. Uh-oh, I went outside the lines a little. All right, and now we're going to choose indigo. And so for me, in this paint tray, I don't really have a dark blue, so I'm gonna blend a little bit of blue and a little bit of purple. Put them together. This will be our indigo. We may need to go back over that a little bit with some purple. We'll go back over that, make it a little bit darker. So think of a navy blue or just a really dark blue. And then we need a purple or a violet. Does anybody know what the difference in purple and violet is? Do you know? What's the difference in purple and violet? Nothing. Purple and violet are the same color. They're the exact same thing. Okay, so now you have a rainbow. And if I were you, I would probably paint a couple more. And uh, then we're going to come back together and I'm going to show you how to cut them all apart and rearrange them. All right, so we're back and we are going to start putting our rainbow into a paper collage, making it into a paper collage. So I've cut up one rainbow. And I decided that I would use more than one. So we're gonna cut up this little rainbow to go with it. Okay, 
So now we have a whole bunch of pieces and we are going before we start to put our rainbow pieces together let's talk about four rules of composition one is contrast and that means that you put light things with dark things or you put yellow with purple or red with green things that are very different close together another rule of composition is overlap and when you're drawing, when you overlap objects, it gives you a sense of depth, makes things that are further away look further away and things that are closer to you look close up. Rule of thirds is another rule of composition. And in rule of thirds, you divide your paper evenly, vertically and horizontally into three sections. And then where those lines cross, become really great locations for a focal point. A focal point is the first place that your eye goes in a painting, when you're looking at a painting, the first place that you look. So wherever those lines intersect, that's a really good place to put your focal point. And our last rule of composition is rule of odds. And this one's pretty simple. It just says that it's better to use an odd number of objects than an even. Just gives a more interesting sense of balance. So using three or five objects is more interesting than using two or four. And we are going to put them together into a paper collage. And in order to do that, we're going to think about some of the things that we talked about. We're going to think about contrast. So good contrast would be purple and yellow together would be good contrast. And this is a really easy project to show overlap with. So if you look, this is overlap because there's one piece of the rainbow and then another that comes on top. And then we also wanna think about things like the rule of thirds. And if you remember, we're gonna, we're gonna push these off to the side. I'm gonna show you the rule of thirds again. All right, so when you're looking at a piece of paper and you wanna talk about the rule of thirds, you can kind of give yourself a guideline. You divide your paper with the grid, with that grid. And so he, this location or this location or this or this would be a very good focal point. So a focal point is where your eye goes first, first place that your eye goes in a painting. So maybe we would take a piece of purple and a piece of yellow and put those pieces together right there for a focal point. Maybe let them overlap. And this is just gonna be a bunch of trial and error. But if you, if you have your focal point on one of those locations, it's gonna make your piece more interesting. So I'm gonna stop now and I will probably come up with two or three paper collages. I'm gonna let you watch me kind of put them together and then you can start yours. So now we have three different paper collage pieces. Um, they're all very abstract, obviously. We're using a variety of different sizes, but we do have some unity because everything is the same shape. And we have complementary colors together with the purple and the yellow. We have some red and green. This one almost starts to look like a face. And then some that just have really great color and great variety and some good movement throughout the piece. So this is Wreck the Rainbow, and we want to see what you come up with. So Hope y'all enjoyed the Wreck the Rainbow project. Join us tomorrow, and we will draw a clematis, which is a flower that grows on a lamppost in my front yard. Can't wait to see you.